Hello there, this is Sheldon Gun. Welcome back to RSC Tutorials. Today I'm gonna give you a session about model view controller, which is very often discussed as MVC design pattern. MVC is like everywhere. It's most widely used almost in every app, I believe, because it has such a good way to manage your code and make your code so reusable. So I will use I will continue working on our demo uh, of downloading JSON from from an HTTP link into a table view. So I will quickly go through the code that we have finished last time, and uh, I will show you the way how MVC will work perfectly for our case. Okay, so let's dig in. So here we are at the code. Um, I will quickly go through it for you. So um, in the view did load, we invoke a function called download JSON with URL. So because we only have one view controller and it has a table view, so we're gonna download in every JSON data into our table view um, because we can download our um, we're downloading data for actors. So we will have the picture of actor, the name of, of the actor, and also the date of birth of the actors. Okay, so as you can see here, download JSON with URL function. We have this URL session, download data from this URL, and have, we are having this completion handler as well. So when we get, after we get the data, we are using JSON serialization to get this data transferred into an NS dictionary. So using the key actors, we will find all the actors in that list. Uh, so let me quick, quickly run our project for you. So after we get all the data from the whole dictionary, uh, we're, of course we'll have the name, date of birth, and the image URL. And also uh, we have updated all the labels in this table view with the name, the DOB, and also we update the image view here. Okay, so the thing is, um, we haven't created model for last class session be because I deliberately put MVC out only for this session. So in the beginning of this class, I create three arrays, name array, DOB array, and image URL array. So after I, we get the, the, the dictionary from um, our URL, as you can see in the console, um, so I simply grab every name from uh, every actor's data and make a name array, same as DOB array and image URL array, which is fine, it's working, but it, it gives us some problem. So what if we want to use these actors uh, in, in other view controllers again? So, so should we uh, directly give a new name array or DOB array along with URL array? This definitely make our code looks ugly and unprofessional. So there gotta be a way. So the best practice here will be uh, the MVC. So we get our, uh, we create our model, uh, we use it in, in our view controller and we uh, update in the view. Okay, so um, so here is what I, I have done after uh, we got all the data. So I create one class called actor, which is a subclass of NS object, but it's fine if you delete it because every class in Xcode is a subclass of NS object. So it doesn't matter if you put that at all, but uh, I created one file called model.swift. So what I have done here is I create one pro three properties for our class actor, which will be name, DOB, and image string. So um, I I rewrite the innate function of uh, the actor. So it will when we create one actor object, we will need to be giving the name string DOB string 
and the image stream as well. So um, this is how we initiate our actor. Um, it is also worth noting that uh, if you don't want class here, a struct is enough here as well. So if you create a, a struct called actor2, basically you can copy and paste anything here within this struct as well. So what's the difference between uh, structs and uh, a class? Uh, so class is like can do everything struct can do, but there's some special feature for class. Uh, I, I will say the most uh, useful one is subclassing. You can now subclass and struct, but you can easily subclass an actor and use all the parent properties. For example, if you make a class, um, say young, as called young actor, and you can easily subclass an actor, but you cannot subclass in for struct. But anyways, I will keep here. Um, just in case some of you may need it. And like always, the final project will be available in GitHub. Okay, so back to our view controller. Now we're gonna remove anything from here. So we will not have those name array, uh, DOB array, as well as um, this image URL array, okay? So after we we pass the big dictionary with uh, which which will be an array here, and every element in this array is a dictionary of one single actor. So for the first one, first element in this array, it will be Brad Pitt uh, with image DOB and our other information that we didn't store. So first, we need to find out the name string. So let's define a name string. In here, I recommended you to use Swift com computed um, constant. This is more elegant. So we're gonna use name string here. Type will be string, of course. Statement, we will reuse this code but we will not use this array anymore so if this name exists we will return name but you need also to think about what if the name is empty here or even uh, is nil so you need to give a dummy name and here we need to typecast it as string okay and same for and same for every element for the let the ob string equal to string So if the OB if let the OB we're gonna return the OB as string else return dummy the OB and same for um, image.
return image string return dummy image okay okay so now we need to create another array instead of uh, the old arrays now we're gonna create one array that is called actors array which will be an array of actor class and what we are going to do here is simply uh, sorry I forgot this parenthesis so it's simply we use this actor array yeah actors array append a new actor with the name we just got the DOB we just got and the image we just got okay so here in the foreign loop every time we find a new actor we will append it to the actor array because it's in the block we need to put a self here so um, what's next because we were having the uh, defined the number of rows using name array uh, we were doing that now we can directly use the actors array dot count and in the cell for row we create an actor using actors array at our index path dot row and now even for updating the labels it becomes so easy you just use actor dot name same as actor dot dob and same as actor dot image string so if you um, let's run a project to see if there's any difference I mean there will be no difference because we're technically um, manage our code but we didn't change anything we just changed the way how we implement the code but as you can see your code is much more cleaner because now you don't need to create uh, more space for those arrays you just create one array with actors and for every element in this array you will form an object um, so the first one will be actor Brad Pitt second one will be actor Tom Cruise and for each actor it can include everything every information that you want and eventually it will make your code uh, looks much much more uh, efficient and looks much more cleaner so I really suggest you to do a little bit more here not code wise when you create one uh, I suggest you to create some group for example so our purpose here is create actor managing actor so you just create one group called actor and inside of it 
you track everything you need for this actor here in this own folder and here you create one more folder called view one more folder called model and one more folder called controller so in this case you can move your controller here uh, move your model here and move your view here um, I think you should put cell file in this view folder I, re I recommend you to do that so see now everything related to this actor management you have your own I mean you can see this actor flow you will have your own view and model and controller this will easily manage your code and everything is so clean or whenever you want to find them it's so easy for you um, yeah so the advantage I really want to mention is the advantage of this model view controller is that this model is is going to be very important and easily reusable because assuming you have multiple view controllers like uh, like the home page and you for every view controller you need manage one actor so do you think it's a good idea to separately to manage your actor separately by using name array DOB array or image array definitely not the best way to manage this is using this model every time you need a, a, an actor you just create a, you just use your model to create a data at wherever you want okay so um i think this is the best practice for showing the mvc works uh in in my planning next session i will uh, talk about singleton class so uh, i will show you how you can store all the data because for now in this current view controller uh you create this array of actors but how where you should store this if you want to use this data again in other con uh, view controller should you pass the data again from the internet no definitely not after you uh, get the data locally you need to store it somewhere uh, i will give you session regarding that in the next tutorial video all right uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you soon in the next one. Please um, leave comments and definitely I will do better work.